They probably started off friendship, and then the Hebrews crossed them, and you know, that's when all hell broke loose. Talk to us about that relationship. Let me just say this real clear. Without Kemet, there would be no Hebrew people. So I want to make that statement. We know that the foundation of the Hebrew people comes out of Canaan, which black people were ruling at the time. So I need to be, when you think of Canaan, Memnon is the founder, he's the father of Canaan, the son of Cush, the son of Cush. So I want you to understand that. So the Hebrews moved from one African state into another African state. <laughs> Listen, when they moved into the area we call like the Middle East there, okay, the Persians was getting ready to destroy their whole city. And 18 Kemet came and, 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 and saved them. And so we shouldn't have no beef with Hebrew people. Not only do they get their doctrine from us, because there is no Hebrew doctrine before Akhenaten, Akhenaten. No he, right? So it's believed Moses got, they have a book, Moses and Monotheism, where they said that even Akhenaten was either Moses or one of his disciples. Because that whole doctrine of the one God and all of that comes out of Akhenaten. The Psalms of Solomon, all written by Akhenaten. I taught a course with that. We put Akhenaten's poetry up. We put the Psalms of Solomon. Today we would call that plagiarism. 